23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Here's what's making news around Kern County today. All cannabis dispensaries in Bakersfield were required to shut down after the Board of Supervisors voted to end medical cannabis sales here in Kern County earlier this year. During a Board of Supervisors meeting er held earlier this week, County Supervisor Zach Schribner requested to discuss the dispensaries during their June 11th meeting. Specifically, he asked for a refresher on the upcoming cannabis ballot measure that's going to be put in front of voters in March of 2020. During his request, he expressed concerns with the way the measure is written. Um, for one thing, it would allow for all the dispensaries that were open before January 1st, 2018 to reopen. And so I can see a town like Rosamond, where we've had as many as 20 at one point um, being inundated once again um, because of customers coming in from L.A. County. Shrivener also asked staff to find out what potential options the county has and what alternatives may be available in response to the initiative. On our website, you can read all about the measure that will be on that 2020 ballot. There's also information on how to check to see if a dispensary is state licensed and how to report dispensaries that are operating illegally. That's all online right now on turn to 23.com. Well, we had a relatively warm and dry day across Kern County. The return of the 80s this afternoon, as well as for your Saturday. But then we are tracking our next winter storm that's going to be making its way into the county, bringing a chance for some isolated thunderstorms for your Saturday afternoon. But most of that rain is going to be falling on Sunday with a big dip in temperatures down to 67 degrees. Then we will be drying out on Monday for Memorial Day with a high of 70. And then we will be seeing clearing skies as we head into the rest of your work week with temperatures up to the upper 80s by the end of the week. Hard to believe we're still going to be in those 60s on Sunday. For the latest information, you can go to our website on turner23.com along with our social media apps. Our coverage in Kerr County continues.